Okay, as we end this unit and finish up our discussion of getting Blueberry set up on your computer and kind of how to use some of the basic uh, screen recording tools, I want to go over two quick things. I'm um, the first one in this session um, about how to get started. And there's one little feature that we really won't get to until we look at exporting your videos at the end of this course, but I want to point it out now because I think it'll save you a lot of headache um, up front. So let me show you one thing um, that will be important to help you to have a, a good start and a good end to your video. So here we are in the, in the player screen, and when we export videos, and I just want to show this to you not so that we can start talking about how to export, but I want to show you this feature so that I can explain um, what this means for how you can better start and end your videos while you're in the recording process. And so one option when we go through until we want to export it, we're actually going to have the option to go through and tell it which frames at the beginning we want the video to start in. So if we make a mistake right at the very beginning before you start recording, if you need a cough, if you need to take a second and psych yourself up before you get started, you can do that and then later edit that out in the exported video. Same thing goes to the very end. We can tell it instead of going all the way to the end, maybe if I made a mistake at the very end, um, I can tell it to stop before that mistake and export. So that I can kind of set the beginning and end frame of the export so that the beginning and end, if I need to cut those out, I can do that. So there's very few kind of editing, cutting, and splicing features in the free version, but this is one of them that is very beneficial for you to use. And so let me walk you through, first of all, um, how to find the frames, and then let me kind of give you an example of how that would work. So I'm just going to cancel out. So remember that our frame rate is shown right here. So we're going at 25 frames per second. So once I hit play, we'll have the little player bar running across showing us what frame we're on. And so what you may want to do is realize that you need to cut out some portion at the very beginning. And so you'll need the, the exact frame number of where you want your video to begin and where you want your video to end if you need to cut something out of the beginning or something out of the end. And so what you can do is actually you can either hover over the red mark and you'll get a little pop-up box. And at the very bottom left corner of that, it'll say F. And this one says 43, which is the frame number. You can also click on it. And at the very bottom of your screen, it'll tell you what frame number you're on. And once you get to the very end, you can do the same thing as well. If you need to cut out something from the very end of it here, um, and maybe want to start it, or excuse me, stop it over here, then you can hover over it or look at the very bottom, and this is frame 2,845. So when you go back to export that video, you know exactly where you need to start and stop the video so that you can cut either or both ends off the video if you need to. And so what does that exactly mean for your videos? And so what happens is once you hit record, and I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit record. And again, set my screen resolution, 1280 by 720, which I've already got this set for. So I'll hit record, and it'll give me a countdown. And let's say for some reason, you know, it gives me a ding. I'm supposed to be recording right now, but, you know, <clears throat> if I need to call for, um, oh, I need to grab a piece of paper real quick, I can do that. And then kind of I'm on my, on my own head, okay, three, two, one, you know, now I can start recording. So if I need to cut that part out, I don't have to worry about stop, stopping, starting all over again and get everything set up to go again. Same thing for the very end, which will be kind of critical. If you make a mistake, more or less once you finish recording everything at the very end, um, it'll let you splice out or cut out that very end where you made the mistake so that you don't have to go back and re-record the whole thing again because of the mistake that you made at the very end pretty much once your recording was over anyway. So one little technique that I just wanted to point out at the beginning, hopefully it'll save you a little bit of time and headache at the beginning here, just being able to cut out the very beginning and very end of your video if you need to.